How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Sale Creative Design. In this episode, I have a little snippet, a five minute snippet actually, of a tutorial that I just released on SaleCreativeDesign.com. This tutorial goes over how to create a professional pro page to design for a BitStars account. So if you are interested in learning how to design either your own pro page or pro pages for your clients, make sure to check out this uh, tutorial. You can check it out, uh, the full tutorial at salarycareerdesign.com. You have the uh, option of either purchasing the individual tutorial or you can purchase the subscription for the website salarycreative.design.com uh, and you will have access to all the graphic design tutorials there. Next week, I'll be dropping the tutorial on how to install this pro page. So yeah, check it out. Hope you guys enjoy it. Click, hold, click and hold and then on the keyboard hold shift and then just drag and you're gonna start forming the star so mine I want it to be this big and then I'm going to size down my star like this one like this one I think this one yeah this one's nice so size it down like so you kind of kind of align it in the center and in between those two words and then duplicate it and move the duplicated one to the other side and uh, it's coming along I mean we pretty much got the header created kind of almost because now we have to create the outer rim of it to create the outer rim uh, let me see how it looked uh, okay okay pretty simple so to create the outer one, what we're gonna do is that we're going to make this circle, the big circle, the first one that we created, we're going to make it black. And opacity or fill, we're going to do 80. And then what we wanna do is that we just want to select the circle and then your name, and we want to duplicate them and then drag them down so what i'll do is that i'll highlight them in blue so you know because what we're going to do is that with the um transform tool we're going to size this up to about i want to say um we'll size it up to about this size i think mm. that we'll size it up to that and then what we'll do is that your name the blue one should be bigger so we're gonna make it 75 and then um, your name should be more this circle I like that well let's do this because your name should be more inside the circle while the circle itself should be more uh, should, should stay pretty big so we're going to select both and size it down a little bit like that so that you can see the E right here in the middle part of the E and then I'm going to scale this circle up again to about that size the border of the circle I want to make it this is too much gold I need to break that gold it's just it's too much too overwhelming and that's that's where color uh, balancing of the colors come into place you gotta know when one color is too much and you can you gotta break it down with uh, another color in this case scenario we're going to use shades of gray so with that being said I'm going to select this stroke I'm going to make it six and I'm going to make the um, the uh the colors i'm going to delete this one delete this one and i'm going to make the light gray which i'm going to put the color up there in the circle somewhere the light gray is uh four five no four e um 40 50 51 and then the other dark gray is 18 18 18 
and then I just want to drag this to the um, to 75 the, the darkest one and then this one I want to drag it into 50 and I want to drag it into 100 50 and 100 after that's done I'm going to grab the the original circle that we created that is gold I'm going to duplicate it I'm going to bring it all the way down I'm going to name it blue and I'm going to make it big because I want this gray circle to have a border and I'm going to make it like that and then the width of it I'll 